losing Connect everybody around me I'm a catalyst passing the energy I just wanna see everybody have a good time The weekend's here, trust me, it's time for you to rewind It's the weekend The life that you are living right now, right here today, what you are experiencing is based off of the thoughts you had and the actions that you took that led you to this moment. When you begin to understand that, that your mind is actually the beginning of all of this, this chain reaction and cause and effect that can lead you in two directions, in, in a positive direction or a negative direction, you know, you'll really begin to appreciate how important it is to manage the way that you think. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay CN, coming back with another one, man. And I had to show y'all that clip from Rob Deerdeck, man. Shout out to Rob Deerdeck, man, because he's absolutely right, bro. You know, that's why we have to guard our mind and be careful what we put in it, you know what I'm saying? Because listen, bro, you know, the way that you think and the actions that come from that can affect you in a positive and negative way or a negative way, exactly like he said. But when you use this motherfucker right, I'm telling you, bro, the possibilities are endless for you. The things that you can do, bro, is just amazing, you know, so... Man, listen, understand anything that you put your mind to, bro, you can really do that. You can actually go out there and make things happen. So we got to be careful what we allowing into our mind. Be careful how we thinking, bro. You know what I mean? Be careful of the things that we watching, the things that we are consuming that affects the mind. You know, because we don't need no more shit corrupting this. You know what I'm saying? Because this is like the machine that gets things going and you know he correcting what he say like bro like everything that we thought the way that we thought got us to this moment now but it's not over you know what i mean whether it was positive or negative whatever we did and however we thought that's what got us to where we are now so we have to continue now that we know this we like okay that's why i tell you bro you really do have the power you know what I mean? So you could reject things that you don't want in your mind. Even when some shit pop up that you can't control, you could still reject that. You know, certain things that you staying away from watching them. You know, certain times, you know, when your mind thinking a certain way, you you dumping that out. You like, nah, I ain't going there. You know, you know, it's just like you really understand the control that you have. But before we didn't, we just didn't care what we was watching. We didn't care what we was doing. We didn't care how we was thinking. We was allowing people around us, you know what I mean? That probably was negative, that didn't think positive. And we would let how they thought, you know what I mean? Get into our mind and fuck up our airspace. You know what I'm saying? Now we thinking like them, but now we more conscious of that shit. You know, we just not letting anybody come around us with all types of negative shit, unhealthy shit, and, you know, be actually pushing that on us. We not allowing that shit because we are our own people. We are our own person. And that's just what happens when you get on a journey like this. You become your own person and you think how you want to think. You know what I'm saying? You do what you want to do, especially when it's beneficial to you and your purpose, to you and your health. You know what I mean? To you and your come up out here like, hey, you know, you're not going to allow nothing to come around and lower your vibration. Even if it's thoughts that was just formulated that, you know, that kind of want to take over what you got doing in a negative way. You're going to dump that shit out quick because you know that that shit not going to help you. Thinking negative not going to help you. Thinking about women all the time not going to help you. Thinking about going back to the person that you used to be not going to help you. Allowing yourself to stay mad about something and, or sad about something. You know that that shit ain't going to help you. So immediately when you get in a, a space like this and on a journey like this, you try to get rid of that because you could feel it lowering your energy. 
And that's what a lot of people don't realize, bro. A lot of people be the way that they think and the way they carry themselves and the actions that they have, they don't even feel that that shit is draining them. Like, damn, you don't even understand, bro. You draining yourself by thinking how you think. You know what I'm saying? You lowering your own energy and your vibration by thinking how you think. Staying negative all the time. Allowing people to always get into your mind and get under your skin. Make you emotional and all of that shit. You don't even know. Like, bro, that shit aging you. You know what I'm saying? That's aging you. And, you know, how it gets in there, bro. You letting that shit just affect you in every which way. And it shouldn't be like that. We have to be mentally strong out here, especially with how things are changing out here now. You know what I'm saying? So the ones that are mentally weak, they not making it. You know, so they don't know their power. They don't know, like, listen, bro, if I put my mind to something, if I keep things away from my mind, you know, out of my mind, or I'm dumping things out that ain't doing nothing for me, and I keep my my mind and my eyes on the prize, and I put my energy into positivity, I could accomplish anything. You know what I mean? I could accomplish anything, but if I always want to just think negative, be on bullshit, watch shit that's just, you know putting fear inside of me, watch shit that's just making me lust, watch shit that's just lowering my vibration and shit, like, listen, this not, this shit ain't gonna help me, bro, so guess what, I'ma just create toxicity in that, I'ma create more fear in that, and what that's gonna do, that's gonna keep people the fuck away from you, bro, you know what I mean, that's gonna keep blessings away from you, because you allowing your mind to stay in that airspace, bro, and you don't want to do that shit, bro, you don't want your mind always in the gutter. You don't want your mind always on negative shit. You don't want your mind always thinking about fear and what can happen to you because you never going to truly be able to live your life and do the things that you should be doing. So guess what? Anytime you ain't doing that, ain't no blessings coming your way, bro. You ain't out there living. You ain't out there learning nothing. You know what I mean? You ain't putting your trust in the most high because you allowing everything that's going around you to keep you scared. So now you walking in fear and not in faith. Now you tiptoeing around, don't know what to do with yourself. Letting them demons just get around you. Got you all scared to live your life and be you out here. And now when you, when you, when you, you got to understand when people full of this fear, bro, they allow people to control them. Now they allow these demons to control them, people to manipulate them, you know, because since they be so scared of so much, they look at everybody else that's doing the same shit and think that they going to be safe around there. They, you know what I'm saying? So they get around a bunch of people, you know what I'm saying? They do the same activities. You know, you're not on your own grind. You're not on your own purpose. You're not thinking, you know, uh, how you should be. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not even having your own thoughts. You ain't even control of that shit, bro. So you ain't even got a mind of your own. Now your mind is, is, is in they shit. Now they controlling your shit. Now you letting everything else control your mind in the way you think, bro. And it's like, man, I ain't giving up that type of control. I ain't giving up no control like that over me, my life, the way that I think, and my vibration. Don't ever give up that control. Because we seen what happened when we gave these motherfuckers the keys, even in relationships, bro. You seen what happened when you gave that girl the key. You seen what happened when you gave society the key. You seen what happened when you gave these demons the key. And guess what, bro? They ran your ass right off that bridge. You know what I mean? To where you damn near was near death. You was fighting addictions. You know what I'm saying? You was in the darkness. You was going through it every day. You was surrounded around negativity, toxicity. You know what I'm saying? Your life was acidic as fuck. Like Coca-Cola, bro, everything about you, your health was a city, your attitude was a city, your way of thinking, your mindset was a city, bro, so everything you touch, bro, was gonna, was gonna feel the pain of that, so guess what, that keep people, that kept people away from you, bro, they like, I ain't trying to be around that motherfucker, he ain't got nothing going on in their life, bro, but drama, negativity, low vibration. 
no insight. Can't nobody get no good advice. So, so, so all you did was deter good energy when you, when you out here like that, bro. And that's what people don't understand, bro. But you more interesting when you have your own way of thinking. And guess what, bro? The ones that got a problem with it, they going to get away from you too. And that's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? See, you want to attract the good energy around you. But guess what, though? You know what I mean? Like, when you start to have your own mind, you know what I mean? You know, you, you gain your own type of confidence and spirituality and you know what's good for you. Guess what, bro? That's going to deter the motherfuckers that don't need to be in your life because they wanted you to think like them. So that's a good that's the good thing about having your own mind out here and being positive out here and actually, you know, making things move how it should. You know, creating your own reality, things that's going to get you in the space that you need to be in, that you want to be in, the vision that you have. But you're not going to get there being negative. You're not going to get there being manipulated. You're not going to get there thinking how everybody else think. No, bro. You your own unique motherfucker out here. And it's time that we embrace that shit. Embrace having your own mind and thoughts. It's okay to disagree with a motherfucker. It's okay to agree motherfucker, uh, with, with somebody. You know, like I tell you, bro, when you, you could read a story, you could read a paragraph, and guess what? You're going to take something out of that that probably the next person ain't, you know, and but that's what make you unique. That's what make you have your own mind because you read things different. Not everybody going to read shit the same. Not everybody going to get the same message, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because we unique to ourselves. So guess what? We gonna see shit different. Tomato, tomato. It is what it is. You know what I mean? You gonna take out the things that go on, that go along with your life. The things that you go through. So you can watch a movie, whatever, bro. You gonna take different lessons out of that than the next person because you think different. It's not a coincidence that it's like that. See, but you got a lot of motherfucking robots out here that feel like everybody should be doing the same thing. Everybody should accept the same shit. Everybody should live the same way. Hell no. Nah. That's why I say, bro, you, it's important for you to have your boundaries out here and really live and stick to that shit. Have your own value out, uh, values out here and really live and stick to that shit, bro. And have some integrity out this motherfucker because society is lacking that shit. So look how quick motherfuckers is going to turn on you. You know what I mean? Look at situations when you seeing these rappers go down and shit and then everybody else telling on them. You know, motherfuckers that they was loyal to telling on them. Motherfuckers ain't got no integrity. Motherfuckers ain't standing on nothing. Mugs just good at putting up a front. Putting up a front. And then when they get exposed, bro, everything go out of the window. Everything go out of the window, bro. So it's important for you to think for yourself out here. When I didn't think for myself and I was following other motherfuckers, bro. Listen, bro, that's what, what you think got me addicted. You know what I'm saying? Idolizing another motherfucker. You know, listening to the wrong shit. Idolizing these celebrities. What you think got me there? It helped. I take full responsibility for that shit. But yeah, that shit helped, bro. Yeah, yeah, so you got to be careful what you putting up in here, especially if you want better for yourself, bro. If you want better, get control of this up here, you know, because that's what's going to determine it. Like, 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 like he said in there, bro, the way that I thought, the way that we thought got us to this point, no matter what, positive or negative. So with that being said, now you know that you have the control, you have the power. So wherever you end up in life, it started up here. It started up here because you magnificent. So you just have to stick with the plan, bro. If you plan on being successful, stick with the plan. Continue to get better. Continue to stay on your purpose. Continue to keep bullshit away from you. Continue to keep bullshit out of here. Because you know it got no place in there now. 
you know it now. You like shit. You, you got no place here. Get out of here. I got shit to do. Motherfuckers gonna think you crazy when they see you might might twitch a little bit. You just shaking that negative shit out. When you talking to yourself, not today. I ain't doing this today. You know what I mean? When you feel yourself having these thoughts about these women and lusting and all that shit. You know, but you gotta, you get back focus and shit. You make sure that that's, you know what I mean? People gonna think you crazy, but that's what's necessary. Because you know where you've been at. You know where you came from. And you don't need that shit getting in there, manipulating your mind and fucking up your vibration. You know what I mean? Stalling you while you have the momentum. That's all that bullshit do is stall you. That's why we here. Because we ain't let nothing else stall us while we on our journey, bro. And we got to keep that same energy moving forward, all right? And that's my word, man. My name JC and the CN Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. First, I'ma get on my grind. Then, second, stop wasting my time. On shit less important than fame about money, I'm going the other direction. And third, I'ma do what I gotta to eat. Fourth, I'ma sew up the streets. Fifth, I'ma never quit dropping this heat. So, as long as I'm breathing, you better get used to me. Sixth, I'ma get.